The following contest is a last man standing match and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Here comes the Queen. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at one of the reasons that the women's revolution has become the women's evolution. Corey, many people believe Charlotte may be the best pure athlete the women's division has ever seen. It's hard to argue that statement. Charlotte Flair has backed up every claim she has made since arriving in WWE. One day, she'll be joining her father in the Hall of Fame. The Irish last kicker. What a career Becky Lynch has had so far here in WWE. Hey, listen, I remember when Becky Lynch first came to NXT. She had moved to Orlando, Florida to be a personal trainer. Never thought she'd get the opportunity to be part of this company. And now she is one of the premier superstars in our women's division. Credited with much of the women's evolution. Introducing the challenger from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Introducing the champion from Dublin, Ireland, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. This has all the makings of a legendary night. Dating back to their days in NXT, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair have been best friends. They were part of the Four Horsewomen and Team PCB, but the two haven't always been sisters like they want you to believe. Ugh. I wish an immediate end to their little tea time. It's absolutely absurd. No, it's cute. The abuse these competitors are about to put themselves through with the hope of being the last one standing it's almost hard to imagine. Recalling your point about Becky Lynch's friendship with Charlotte Flair, Corey, Charlotte has been a major part of many important moments in Becky's career. You can't deny the bond between the two horsewomen. True, Michael, but not all moments were heartwarming. Remember when Charlotte brutally betrayed Becky in 2016? Charlotte's competitive nature always seems to supersede their friendship. The kick connects. Now look at that. I'd say that's getting some air. Charlotte not in a good place right now. She's in there with some stiff competition tonight. She's definitely slowing down here a bit. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for her. Not by a long shot. 
Charlotte Flair has a natural ability that most WWE superstars yearn for. How can any competitor even hope to challenge the Queen, Byron? Well, Charlotte is a fast learner and has the greatest of all time as her mentor, but I think capitalizing on inexperience is the best move. Byron, I don't even know if there are any gaps left in Charlotte's knowledge. She may have fewer years in the ring, but she learns at an incredible rate. So you need more years in the ring and a better mentor than Ric Flair? That's a combo few can tout. But if you can, maybe you've got a chance against Charlotte. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Boom, running FTO. Nicely done. The smartest thing a young star can do is learn from a veteran. And Charlotte has the best in the wrestling business. The nature boy, Ric Flair. If you're lucky as a rookie, you can bend the ear of a trainer or a visiting legend for a few minutes. But Charlotte has had 30 years to learn from her father. Not over yet. Oh, oh. This is, what's this going to be? Wheelbarrow! Huge move right there. Corey Charlotte's knowledge of the game is limitless thanks to Rick. When you're learning from the Nature Boy, it's like an advanced class every day. Imagine having Flair DNA to start. Then you add the wisdom of Rick for Charlotte is... Man! I knew it was only a matter of time. <laughs> Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Oh my DDT! Lights out. Yeah, I love the effort here, but she'd better hope she can sustain it. You know, I'd say matches like this really drive superstars to take risks they normally wouldn't take. An example that immediately comes to mind would be Shane McMahon's actions in Unforgiven in 2003. She's in a bad way now. Look out. Charlotte is not stopping the leg. Just nasty. Talk about taking care of business. Does Becky Lynch even know where she is? To elaborate more than that Unforgiven 2003 match Corey was talking about, that night we saw Shane leap off the top rope of the Unforgiven set down toward his opponent, Kane. And unfortunately for Shane, however, Kane moved at the last moment. And it was all academic from there. The referee could have counted to 100. Shane was not getting up. Looks to me like these superstars are running on fumes right about now. And the beat goes on. And here comes Charlotte. Charlotte is getting ready here. Charlotte is... Charlotte, what a maneuver. Is it enough to put... Look at that. Charlotte, Charlotte with the spear. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Momentum is completely in favor of Charlotte now. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. I can't believe it! Charlotte is the new champ! The Queen has done it! When any...